Hello gamers. Why I can't make video without being a fucking clown? So we needed Cobra's product and we made a pretty compact one. And later got carried away and made the one that doesn't use slime. Well, not that one, this one. So I think it's cool enough to show at least on this channel. Yeah. So for those who don't know what Cobra is, I will link Ed's video in the description. He explains it really well. Uh, it's basically just a structure that gets pushed into spawner bounding box to help to generate it. And it's named because first designs, uh, like the design by Daniel Cotes from 2013, uh, they didn't have slime blocks, so they had to push it with pistons and redstone blocks, and it just looked like Cobra. So that's where the name comes from. So first flying machine is two blocks per second, so it's 10 game ticks per cycle, and second one is. Uh, 3.3 blocks per second, so it's 6 game ticks per cycle. Uh, we just launch first flank machine, and uh, to stop it, uh, we wait until all, all items leave this hopper, and uh, we launch second one. Uh, I will show on screen formula to calculate uh, how many items you need, and for decimal places, you just uh, use repeater. Because items take uh, 8 game 6 to fall. So, yeah, that's it. Let's just look at it working. So, I had items just enough to fly 16 chunks exactly. You can see it stopped where I wanted it to stop. I don't know why, but I also made a design that removes all blocks. <laughs> Uh, so, we can start. You can see that it items leave hopper, and as soon as it gets empty, it will update this piston and it will start, start flying, and it will break all the my own blocks. I will stop this machine because I have some shit in, in the way. So. Let's decrease sixty, for example. Yep. But most of the time, you will want to generate more than just one spawner, and for that, you probably need some custom cobras. And I have a couple of examples how you can do it. So, for example, if you have two bounty boxes right next to each other, you can. Uh, always use uh, piston worms. It's basically like these three blocks, and as soon as you power this piston, it will move. So, yeah. Uh, next is probably another often thing. If you have a spawner between two uh, or even four chunks, and you don't want to populate them right away, you want to split. Uh, flying machine into two parts, and that's basically, yep, that's what I do here. And I uh, have same amount of items in both clocks, clocks of course. <coughs> uh, so the next one is a uh, more exotic one. Basically, just another example of how you can use piston worms to push the second cage. So, yeah, that's it for that. Now, let's go to more fun things. So, I wanted to show respect to people who were designing cobras without slime blocks, so they were using pistons and redstone blocks, but I used observers instead, and it's actually a flying machine without a single slime block. Uh, yeah, there are possible things to Modiseus that just discovered a way to move sideways, uh, and this is his engine, basically. I thought about compacting it, and there is probably a way to clean this wiring a bit, but not really much you can do with it. I mean, problem is that you need to pull this piston, and it's really hard, because you can only pull one block. <laughs> yeah, let's launch it, I guess. So 
so yeah, as you can see it's pretty fast even, and it's working without a single slime block. I just abused piston worms everywhere, and that's it. I think that uh, slimeless flying machines have a lot of potential. I mean, they're not useful, I don't think they will ever be useful, but they're just cool and interesting <laughs> to work at. Uh, so now I think I will show you just some interesting contraptions I came up with without slime blocks and uh, on flying machines. So let's start with uh, this thing, which is basically the most compact uh, ways to pull a single block. You can't pull more than a single block. That's the biggest problem on, of slimeless flying machines. So you just trigger it and it just pulls. And here's another design that doesn't have observer here. <laughs> I guess that also works. So using that you can do at least one interesting thing and it's this thing. So this is a slimeless flying machine that pushes a slime separator. <laughs> so yeah, you can trigger this observer and it will uh, separate one slime, one slime block from this line of slime and it moves forward. So we just need to trigger this. It will move one forward. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't separate when it moves, but you can continue separating it. Now, by the way, it's based on something Bingo showed, like many, many years ago, so it's not very new. Uh, next thing uh, I want to show you is uh, a way, easy way to count in binary. So, for example, this uh, redstone lamp will trigger only every fourth block. And now it's gonna trigger. Yep. And this is also pretty useful. I found a use for that in a rail curver. So this is only half of it. You need to curve other half of rails. I didn't finish it yet, but maybe later I will finish it. Uh, so yeah, this is the binary counter, uh, and it. Uh, pushes this piston only every second block. Let me demonstrate it to you. So now nothing happens, rail stays on that black block. <laughs> and now it will move to the next black block, uh, skipping the white one. Uh, but there is one problem with this machine, and that's the fact that you need uh, solid ground under the rail to move it. And although it's possible to move the rail with block under it, without slime blocks, I'll show it later, it's not really easy when you need to move two blocks right away. So one way to deal with it is uh, to have a piston feed tape, like I have here. So we just uh, cycle last block around, always, each step. Now, by the way, this is the same engine, just uh, cut so it doesn't trigger uh, in a loop. It's basically the same thing as this one. But sometimes I use it just for demonstration purposes. Of course, if you want a fully slimeless flying machine, you just always attach uh, this engine or that one. I made this rail carrier in one direction. Uh, in case you're wondering why the fuck would you need that? It's just basically a faster minecart track here. Here we just move the rail and update this rail with this observer. Let me actually like show you a practical use for that. Uh, some time ago I made this stupid mushroom item farm using uh, these rails. Yeah, as you can see, it travels a lot faster than normal minecart. You can compare it to this one. 
just normal rails and here it's really slow so practical use for slam with flank machines so let's say you're playing on peaceful for some reason and uh, there is no way to get slime blocks on peaceful but you can get sticky pistons from uh, jungle temples so yeah <laughs> that's a practical use for you uh, to start this uh, tree farm it's just basically a fancy cube maker let's first plant trees Now wait for them to grow, and now you can launch it. You just need to right click with flint on this observer before red block. Now I sped up the game a bit, so it's more comfortable to see. <laughs> yeah, this piston pushes uh, a row of birch uh, before those uh, that way we first always try to push in this direction and only after that try to push in that direction uh, that way it just makes 12 by 12 cube of birch let's wait for it to come all the way all right it's getting close to the end and as you can see it's a really nice solid cube of birch you can actually stop the flying machine and uh, harvest it and uh, continue harvesting a row of birch but I will not do it right now you can stop it by the way just by breaking this piston and that's it yeah, really nice cube I think that's it for this video I showed you a lot of useless garbage <laughs> uh, but I have one more thing to show you, it's basically a cherry on a cake. Uh, it uses something that Srasqvt uh, showed <laughs> really long ago, actually a year ago. And uh, I found a better use for that technology. It doesn't have slime.